Welcome. I hope that you're doing well. By the end of this quick video, you will be able to select multiple measures or multiple notes that you would like to edit in MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So you want to have MuseScore open. And two quick things before you uh, learn how to select the multiple measures. Uh, first thing is that when you're uh, selecting uh, different things on the MuseScore, you will want to make sure that the note selector is off. So right now you see it's turned on when it turns blue on the left hand side. Uh, then see how it's going to add a note. So right now we are not in the selector mode. So to get in the selector mode, you want to go to the top left, click on N. You could also press the letter N, uh, as in uh, Nicole, on your uh, keyboard, and that will turn selector mode on or off. So now I'm in. Now you can see it's off. So I can now select different elements. And then one other thing, if you want to make sure you're selecting the right thing, uh, up in the top uh, left hand, you can see there's a page view percentage. And I'm going to go ahead and click this up with uh, to 150%. You could also hold Control and then use the zoom wheel. And so if I zoom in and zoom out with the zoom wheel, it can do that as well. OK, now that we uh, are on the same page with uh, the note selector and with the zoom, uh, in order to select multiple measures or multiple notes, uh, multiple measures, uh, you will want to select the first measure. And the way to select a measure is to go ahead and click somewhere away from a note. So usually about in the middle is a good way to select a measure. And you see a blue box came around the measure. And so now that entire measure is selected. So now in order to uh, select, let's say I want these two measures selected, I select the first measure, it turns blue, and then I will hold shift on the keyboard and then click the next measure again away from any notes. So now I have selected two measures that I would like to do. And you can do this with multiple more measures if you want. So I select the next measure and I can also deselect too. So if I want to uh, just select um, you know, backwards, I can hold shift and, and go the other direction. So uh, that's the easiest way to select multiple measures. If you would like to, uh, and, and if you want to uh, exit any selection, you just click outside the, the notes or any away from the selection. So if you would like to uh, select multiple notes, you, you can see whenever I select a note, it will turn blue. Um, so I've let's say I want that note and this note selected. The way you do it is select the first note, it will turn blue, hold shift again, and then select the next note. So you can click the next note. Another way you can do it is to hold shift and then press the right arrow key. So shift and right arrow will select the next note to the right. And then shift and left arrow will select the ne next note to the left. So we'll decrease the selection. So the those are the best ways in order to select multiple things. And it is very important to have the right things selected in uh, MuseScore because that's going to determine what gets changed when you use your palettes on the left hand side. So again, uh, this hopefully this is uh, helpful for being able to select the different elements. Again, uh, make sure that when you're selecting measures that you're away from any other elements like see this uh, second, second bar here. If I click somewhere like here, it will end up uh, selecting the bar. Um, if I click that, that'll click the, select the note. If I click around here, it'll select the beam. So again, you want to make sure you click somewhere away from notes, somewhere in the middle usually, and that will uh, help you select the entire measure rather than an, a specific element. Uh, so that should wrap it up. Um, you now know how to select multiple measures and multiple notes uh, within uh, MuseScore 3. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer those. I have other MuseScore 3 tutorials available. I will put links around this video for those. If you enjoyed this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you, and I will see you in the next video.